There is a U.S. streamer named Johnny Somali who has been arrested in Japan after trespassing and just generally harassing and threatening the public on public transport. And it included a, a threat of nuclear war. He, this is not a joke. <laughs> this, I'm not exaggerating. He, he threatened that they were going to nuke Japan again. I'm going to read you... people on public transport. He also... Entered one of their female only train cars, which they have in Japan because there is a huge problem of sexual harassment and groping. So the females have to go in their own mm -hmm. wow. there's public a transport. There's a twenty dollar one here from David Christian says, finally caught a bit live again. Usually watching at work at three AM. Why years? Why did Will Smith slap Chris Rock? Why seven I maybe meant seven years. So like why did uh, why did he slap Chris Rock? Yeah, it's uh he's well, like, we're not gonna ever get know that. my get my like um Common law divorced wife's name. Uh, is that, is that if, if, you're, if you're married at seven years, is common law, right? Or if you're together for seven years, is common law? Yeah. Thank is you. Is separated for Depending seven years? Depending on where you are, yeah. Com yeah. Get my common law divorced ex wife's name <laughs> out of your fucking mouth. It's so funny. Um, but yeah, so. What I love about this is that Japan is extremely hard on crime, which mm -hmm. is why people fawn over it saying it, you always feel like you're safe in the streets like there's it's clean you don't litter there yep. like you will get jumped if you litter in japan wild <laughs> and uh japanese government don't you know let people out on good behavior they don't have parole and they have a 99 percent conviction rate yeah so he's been arrested he's been <laughs> detained he's likely going to get possibly three years in prison i'm gonna read this what what asia what this <clears throat> um tweet said it's a japanese government will hold him for 28 days uh in those 28 days they will use sleep deprivation tactics <laughs> yep. and hours upon hours of interrogation to break <sighs> his mind and force him to confess his crimes of trespassing i'm laughing because it's, it's, it's very funny. guantanamo it's very <laughs> yeah. guantanamo Look, i'm it's laughing intense. because streamers have proven themselves to be like public threats like streamers are public enemy number one. We just yeah. talked and about the government guy. And the government needs to take action because like Mizzy mm. is allowed to just run rampant in the UK, invading people's homes, jumping people you know what this is, for entertainment value, and he doesn't get any consequences. Mm. But we here in America have a beautiful thing called the Second Amendment, where if you just show up to a guy at the mall in Virginia, uh, you, the the fuck around <laughs> and find out. <laughs> scale gets yeah gets did you guys sad. see that there's this prank youtuber that got shot while i he heard was about that approaching someone to prank them oh uh -huh. yeah i did actually hear about that yeah and yeah. the guy got acquitted i feel like this thankfully. is the backlash against all streamers in general yep and it's well like needed type of in my opinion yeah mm -hmm. they just think that they can get away with anything yeah um and then he says once he confesses uh, they will sentence Johnny to three years in prison. Then they will deport him back to America once he finishes his sentence. There is no early or good behavior parole in Japan. Decoy voice said, what if they Rightly deported so. him to Somalia instead? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is he actually Somalian or no, is he he's, American? He's, Amer he's American. Okay. And then he made a follow-up video uh, after mm. threatening people on public transport. But let's show that, that video first. Yeah. Here we go. This guy is so unlikable. You know Hiroshima? Nagasaki. You know why you do this? Pearl Harbor? Oh my god. Hiroshima! Nagasaki! Yes, man, nigga, yes, Hiroshima. If he was in New York, he would just get dropped. Yep. Yeah. People in Japan are so polite and like patient and non confrontational. Like it's just like their culture. Yeah. So yeah. if this was anywhere else, he would have gotten Hiroshima, punched Nagasaki. or shot. You know what yeah. I'm to you niggas. Hiroshima and Nagasaki. We destroy it. Because you niggas don't know how to behave. Wallahi belai was alive. I swear to God. You do again, we're gonna do we're gonna do again. You understand? This you is understand? supposed to be a prank? Hiroshima. Yeah. I don't know what the prank is other than just being a dick. That's it. Being annoying and not funny hypocrite like fix your behavior while he's the one screaming at them the like, ironic what? part is like if you do things like this on public transport in new york you actually won't <clears throat> get consequences because people are similarly just like the mindset well, is don't get involved the yeah. mindset is if yeah. you get involved 
you will end up getting charged, not the person who is instigating it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I was just thinking that reminds me of a BART, like writing BART, like on the on a daily basis. Like in, in the Same Bay Area, we have yeah. BART, Bay Area Rapid Transit, and it's pretty much like that. And there's a lot of weirdos on there. You I just took don't the BART. make eye contact. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I took yeah. the BART a few times. Yeah. It's, um, it was, it, there was some weirdos. It used weirdos. to not be so bad. It's gotten really bad. There was, there was I mean, even back then, there were some mm-hmm. weirdos. Yeah. Um, but it's like almost, I guess, because we're desensitized to it now, it's like, one thing but there it's like they actually press charges because it's they don't want it to become a thing yeah like, well that's what they that. talk about in this article is like they're they have to to push back against stuff like this so that people don't get the idea to just come here to try and become famous i guess yeah. technically yeah. what he's being charged with is because he he trespassed in a construction site in japan yeah. that was the technical charge mm-hmm. um but he followed up this video from public transport continuing his troll He says that uh, his rant on the train was meant to help President Joe Biden get reelected as he is coming to Japan to attend the G7 summit that month. Mm -hmm. Quote, so in order to help my president and help his reelection campaign, I decided to bring (laughs) some publicity to the events that happened 80 years ago. It was actually patriotic a little bit to bring awareness to the tragedy because Joe Biden is coming and, and Joe Biden needs our help. And then he also finished the video saying, I'm converting to transgender. I'm joining the LGBTQ plus HDTV community. And I'm doing this so we could get cancel culture on my side. We are going to turn to transgender because I feel if you can't beat them in this day and age, you have to join them. So I am part of the LGBTQ HDTV plus community. How can you guys really cancel me? I love the idea of just tacit admission that you just get beaten into submission these days. (laughs) I can't beat them. I'm just giving up. I'm just, I've just decided to join them. I guess he's just trying to be edgy, but in order to like make an edgy joke, you have to have a Mm punchline as well. Like you forgot the funny. They yeah. also <clears throat> they mention um, Logan Paul's very um, Logan Paul did the same shit. Yeah. yeah, he was in Japan screaming, like running through the streets, being an mm-hmm. absolute nuisance. Mm-hmm. Then filming a dead body, and no one talks about that anymore. Like he totally got away with but that. But did he, he break the law? He yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> had a severe and continuous lapse in judgment. <laughs> <laughs> write that one down. <laughs> We just, uh, the, the, it's, it'll never go away because there's always going to be an incentive for people to do stupid things for, in the sa- for the sake of fame, mm-hmm. for the sake of becoming famous. Shock That's what value. Derek Hunter was saying on the show. Like, you can be in the middle mm-hmm. of an intersection smearing feces all over yourself, and if you get attention, it's a good thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's no distinguishing between good and bad attention now. And, uh, like, look at the, um, I wonder how the, the climate activists who get, like, uh, Get, you know, throw stuff on paintings or sit in the middle of the road. Feel about like the. Well, at least they feel they have a reason. Yeah, they've got a other cause. than a self-serving one. They're so delusional. What's but At least they worse? feel like they're they're doing something to help the world. <laughs> what is actually worse, that or the people who are just doing it to, you know, mm, ice cream so good. But NPC streamers are at least doing that in the privacy of their own home. Unless they're in New York. There's those people in New oh, York yeah. doing it out on the street. Mm-hmm. Except for that. Uh, there's people in New York just doing it out in public. I don't know which is worse. Is it worse when you know you're just doing it for clout and fame? Or is it worse when you, you're doing it and patting yourself on the back? What keeps you I probably more? hate the people patting themselves on the back more. But but some people <laughs> just want to watch the world burn. And Johnny Somali is one of them. Him and you know what's going to be next, right? He's going to have a collab with Mizzy. Yeah, and that they'll uh, they'll do something together. They'll do a thing where they. Both I want him to go on Piers Morgan next. That would be great. And Matan Evan get get shamed by Piers Morgan. Yeah. Matan Evan hasn't really done anything wrong though. I know that's why he's awesome. He just kind of shows up at places that you wouldn't expect him to be, but he doesn't do anything criminal. And standing for landlords was the funniest thing that happened in all of 2023. We love landlords. It really was. <laughs> um, like, also, there's a community note on this post saying uh, there is video evidence of Johnny streaming his crimes. People gathered evidence of all the crimes he has committed. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't look good for him. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you think this is something that we can kind of shame out of the culture to like at a certain point? Actually, I don't think it's possible too, right? Because they used to talk about how like they would keep wi- like women would go into to porn and make a bunch of money. But you like the culture of shame around it kept women from wanting to well, go uh, and do that for work. Mm-hmm. But the now. Popular female <clears throat> streamers on Twitch are the like titty streamers hot tub streamers yeah all the raunchy shit and then the popular male streamers on those platforms are 
just criminals because they can't <laughs> capitalize off of sexuality. Yeah. They have yeah, to capitalize to off of committing disturbing crimes. the public. It's harder yeah. to be us. Actually being entertaining. <laughs> it's harder to be us. Yeah. It yeah. really is. Uh, you know, you're not born with it. Uh, you got you to gotta go find it. Unfortunately for the rest of the world, that means we have to go out and be like and put upon the rest of the world, whereas you guys don't. Uh, you guys can do so from your own room, whereas yeah. like the guys have to go out and... Or, or I mean, the, 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 the white pill upside to that is like the ones who actually actually create interesting content and that's just uh, harder to do and takes longer and a lot of times it's just easier to go and, yeah. and say what's your body count to somebody right the street <laughs> interviewers have gotten out of control <laughs> I like it now I agree it, yeah like yeah, the chicks who are like what would lot. you rate me those, yeah. those chicks those people yeah. I don't know. there was uh there was the ones that it was like what is like what is like a red flag you like in a guy in all the women's answers it's like i couldn't tell if it was like very cleverly edited because it's like they? like the first one is uh, it's obvious it's some like oh when he's like uh uh like when he's kind of controlling or something like it's not a nice thing to to be attracted to but whatever but then it cuts to clips where i don't know if he's actually asking them that question and one girl's like yeah alcoholism <laughs> she's like yeah like when he's like an alcoholic like <laughs> so he asks the first one like this the what exactly. like red flag or do you find attractive the other ones he just asks like what are red flags yeah so like oh, but then he cuts yeah. it in where it's like she's like yeah i, I like so it when funny. he's uh but there was the one that was like at some college campus it was like the one girl like just like very very casually said like when he hits me and oh, the guy God. is like huh, huh? Uh -huh. was, okay if anyone needs therapy it's her yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. dude but like yeah like it's uh, like and i think Cry a lot of it help. now is like it's becoming like a weird type of like on the spot performance art for these girls who are just like they probably don't even feel that way they're just they rehearsed it, it yeah. in the mirror this morning and they're like oh finally a street interviewer I get, to, and I get to give the most ridiculous answer ever like mm -hmm. uh you know like it's just the way it is like it's the the internet culture is like i want to make something that's going to be remembered like the girl who did the thing where she goes like a guy like the uh i had a sugar daddy who paid me to Remember that one? Oh, oh, to, yeah, to, to pee on it. Yeah, and then ten k. Like, and then he was my no, no. She she said, um, did she say ten k? She said she it said, was ten k, and it turned yeah. out to be her professor. Professor, and I was like, where are professors, even tenured professors, getting ten k? <laughs> and I'm just picturing, like, does she not have like a dad or a mom at home who are going to be like? But I guess like no. Or no, the, the mom answer is no. Or yeah, the mom is like, not. look, uh, the, the mom is desperate care. to yeah. be seen as young like her daughter, so she's like, yeah, go get. It's peed always on. the moms mm -hmm. who are supportive of the OnlyFans pages. Mm -hmm. my parents, you never hear yeah. what the dad thinks. Yeah, no. Yeah, like my, that really yeah. Is skinny girl, um, the famous one that dresses up. She's, Eugenia Cooney. Yeah, that she's enabler all. mom. Yeah, every time. Yeah. Like she looks great. Like, all the no. trans kids, enabler mom. Yeah, yeah. Jazz mom. Jennings. Yep. So yeah. many, yeah, red flag moms out there. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye, guys.